People understandably have a lot of questions about the COVID-19 vaccines. Dr. Frank e. George has been working tirelessly, answering as many as he possibly can. He's back with another round of answers, starting with what you can take when you're scheduled to get a shot. Frank? Several people have asked, can I take my regular daily meds, including baby aspirin, the day of the vaccine? Yes, if you regularly take prescription or over-the-counter medication, it's fine to take it on the day of your shot, and that includes baby aspirin. Here are some more questions sent in to ClickOnDetroit.com. One viewer asks, can we reach herd immunity if children are not vaccinated? This is an important question. Roughly 23% of the population is under 18. So if you vaccinated every adult and had 100% effectiveness of the vaccine, it would put you around 77% of the population vaccinated. Clearly though, Every adult isn't going to get vaccinated, and the vaccine is not 100% effective. So the path to herd immunity will probably require a vaccine that's authorized for children. The bottom line is that herd immunity is a long way off. Shorter term, the goal of the vaccine program is to protect as many people as possible, starting with the highest risk individuals. Now, another viewer is wondering, does the pneumonia vaccine help with a patient who later develops COVID? Yes, but not directly. If you develop COVID, being protected against the bacteria that can also cause pneumonia will make it less likely that you would develop an additional bacterial pneumonia that would complicate your COVID infection. Now, another viewer is looking ahead asking, I'm due to get my COVID-19 vaccine shot late this summer or early fall in the next phase. Can I get my flu and COVID shot at the same time? It's not recommended that you get any other vaccines within 14 days of receiving a COVID-19 shot. Finally, a survivor wants to know, I contracted COVID-19 and I'm still recovering. I require oxygen most of the time. Would it be dangerous for me to get the vaccine? The answer is no, it would not. But for anyone who has concerns about specific health problems of the vaccine, I recommend you reach out to your personal doctor. Back to you.